was standing on the banks of the river, looking out over life's troubled sea. It is time now for the Crossroads Memorial Baptist Church broadcast with Pastor Brother Michael Head. And now today's broadcast. Is that the old ship of Zion I see? Amen. It's good to be here on this Sunday afternoon. Amen. I tell you what, I uh, appreciate each and every one of you for listening today. I just on this Sunday afternoon, and boy, I tell you what, I appreciate the church uh, listening and appreciate those praying uh, for the broadcast, but I want to take a, a moment to uh, invite you out to our revival. We'll be kicking our revival off on that Sunday night, July the 12th. Uh, Brother Charles will be, uh, Brother Charles Dyer be preaching uh, and kicking our revival off uh, on July the 13th, Brother Todd Cash. Uh, I'll be preaching. Then on Tuesday night, uh, July the 14th, Brother Jesse Davis will be preaching. Then on Wednesday night, uh, July the 15th, Brother Charles Dyer will be preaching that Wednesday night. Amen. We want to invite you out. Uh, we'll start that Sunday night at 6 o'clock uh, there, but uh, Monday through Wednesday it'll be at 7 p.m. So we invite you out. You come be with us, and if you can't, Amen. You you pray for us, but uh, uh, next July on July the fifth, uh, we'll be back with you again for another hour on the broadcast from 1:30 to 2:30. So we invite you out to listen or come be with us down here. Amen. On July the fifth, also there our hour broadcast. But uh, so what we're gonna do here? We're gonna get Brother Brian to play a song. Amen. And I hope this song will bless your heart. And then we'll come around, and uh, one of these men, either Brother Jesse or Brother Todd, will be coming and open up that precious old book. So you pray. Abraham pleaded for Sodom one day When he spoke to the Lord and he heard him say Sins are was a sign that God saw how much that Abraham cared and he said for a few that city I'll spare but not ten righteous in all that city could be found 
that, Brother Brian, boy, if we ever been in a time where it needs to be preached, that we don't ever need to look back. Boy, you're talking about a time right now when it needs to be heard. But, uh, boy, it's good to be down here coming to you by the way of radio this afternoon. Boy, we had a, a, a spirit-filled meeting this morning over at Crossroads. And, as we were talking about right before we got started, we just wanted to bring it down here and carry on. Uh, right here into the broadcast, boy, and I tell you, I, I just appreciate the opportunity any time that God Amen. gives us the opportunity to stand, and boy, I tell you, uh, uh, more him and less of me, brother Jesse, that's, that's right. what I want to be and what I want to strive for, but happy Bibles, turn with us over here to Luke chapter number 18, going to read a very familiar scripture, and uh, uh, just try to give uh, uh, God his will uh, here Amen. for just a few minutes here, but it says here in verse number 38, uh, 35, it says, and it came... And it came to pass that he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging, and hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. Well, and, and, they, and they told him that Jesus of Nazareth uh, passes by, and he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they that uh, which went before rebuked him, uh, that he should hold his peace. Uh, uh, but he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And, and Jesus stood and commanded he be brought forth unto him. And when he was come uh, near, he Ask him, saying, What wilt thou uh, that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, I, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And and Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight; thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately, let's get that this uh, this afternoon here. Immediately he received his sight. I'm glad to know we serve an immediate God. I'm glad to know we don't serve a God uh, by committee today. I'm glad he's immediate in what he does. But uh, it says there, and immediately, uh, he, let me get my place, sir. And immediately he received uh, he received his sight and and followed him glorifying God and all uh, the people when they saw it gave praise unto God. Father, Lord God, as we uh, come to you once again, Lord God, pray you just bless this old stammering tongue one more time, Lord God. Lord, we might just uh, uh, get right in the center of your will here this afternoon, Lord God. Lord, we might just uh, uh, stand for just a few minutes, Lord God, and bring, uh, bring out some thoughts we feel that you lay on our heart, Lord here just in the last uh, a few minutes here, Lord God, and Lord, we ask you, Lord, that we just get out of the way and get ourselves out of the way and let the Holy Spirit preach through us. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name we pray, amen and amen. 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 And boy, I begin to think right here, boy, well, that song there, right, don't ever look yes, back. Boy, I tell you, uh, that song got a special place in my heart there because, boy, it's been a lot of times in my life, Brother amen. Michael, uh, that I've wanted to look back. And boy, yeah. I'm, sorry to, I'm sorry to say there's been times I did look back. Yeah. Here. Uh, but one thing I want to bring out here is some reasons why we shouldn't look back here. Uh, I'm here to tell you, boy. Uh, but the Bible says here uh, that this man here lay, hey, it said here, uh, that there a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging him. and it don't go in there to say just how long but I, I believe brother Michael he had been there all his life I believe I believe he'd been there and he was in a state he was in a state about like Lazarus there sitting there uh, that if the power of God didn't come into play if the power of God wouldn't put forth uh, that he was going to be in that same play uh, there but, uh, but let me get on with it here he said here and hearing the multitude passed by. And boy, I wondered there as I read that while ago, are we hearing the multitude pass by in the name of Jesus today? Uh, you see, you say, preacher, uh, uh, what's going on? Uh, what's going on today? We don't hear the great works of God. We don't hear the great uh, uh, meetings no more. You know why? Because there's a lot of them that's turned back. To uh, there's a lot of them today uh, that's turned their head back. Uh, there over, I like it where it says there, uh, it says, why turn turn you again into the weak and beggarly elements that you were once in bondage Amen. to. And that's what I'd like to get first today is don't turn back to those weak and beggarly elements Amen. of the world today. Uh, due to time's sake, I won't go uh, over there and read that, but we are, uh, Bible readers know there that, uh, uh, that there it's brought out there. It says, it says now, I bet you are done. Now that you know God, and then he's so back and says, are you known up? 
love God. And let me ask you something today. Are you? Do you know God or are you known of God? Because you see, when you turn back and you look back, you're known of God. You know, God knows you. God knows where you're at. But you couldn't get a prayer through to God if you wanted to. I'm talking about don't look back to those weak and beggarly elements that you were once in bondage to. As that song was saying there, as Lot's wife looked back with so many thoughts, it wasn't very long, Brother Michael, and there was a consequence come along with that action. I'm here to tell you today that there's consequences for looking back away from God. Oh, boy, Peter. Boy, Peter walked on that water there. The Bible says there. He said, Lord, if it be you, bid me that I come to you. And Lord just simply said, come on, boy. I'm going to preach country, boy, here to say you. He said, come on, boy. Step on out here. The Bible says he stepped out there. And he began to walk on that water. And Lord, let me preach that one time. I said, Lord, I said, as long as Peter had his eyes on God, as long as he was looking at Jesus, he was walking walking on the water. But when, it's when he looked back at the waves of the world, yeah. when he began to let that take hold of him, yeah. the Bible says he began to sing. And I'm here to tell you today, uh, the first thing you're going to begin to do if you look back away from God yeah. is you're going to begin to sing yeah. and sin yeah. in those beggarly elements of the world. And I'm here to tell you, it'll take over your life quicker yeah. than you ever thought it would. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm here to tell you, don't look back. Don't look back on that sin. Amen. Oh, is it, uh, the Bible says uh, uh, the Bible says our true repentance comes uh, when we repent. And the only way we repent is if we turn away from it, I Brother see. Michael. Uh, turn away from it, God. And you say, and you say, well, I, uh, I turned away from it. God knows whether you mean it in your heart or not when you turn from something. Uh, God knows when you mean it in your heart when you don't. Uh, the Bible says he knows the number of hairs upon top of our head. And if he knows that, he knows what our heart's desire is. Right. Uh, bless God. But it said here, it said they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. Oh, and he cried, and he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Uh, you see, he decided right then, he said, I'm not looking back. He Amen. said, he's here, he's I'm here not. now. He said, I, I, he's right here. I may not be able to see him right now, uh, but I believe he felt the presence I of God. God. I believe he felt the power uh, that was bestowed right Amen. there in front of him. I believe he knew that it was a power uh, like nothing he had ever seen, and I believe he knew his heart, that he can see it inside if he just keep looking forward. Hey, you say, preacher, you talking about a blind man here. I don't care if you're blind. I don't care if you're crippled. Hey, you, can, you can run to Jesus. Hey, you can look to Jesus. Hey, he was looking on that altar, uh, the faith of the altar and the finisher of our faith. Hey, uh, bless God. Hey, oh, but it says there, and they that which... <laughs> And they that which went before rebuked him. Boys, always couple him better than you. Right. Uh, always couple him better than you. Uh, I can do it right. better. I can shout it louder. Right. I can live it better. But let me tell you something. Uh, oh, they are somebody that's looked back and trying to cover it up. Uh, hey. Oh, they are somebody that's so far out of the will of God. Uh, they wouldn't know it if it was standing right in front of them. I'm here to tell you today. Uh, this one old preacher going to tell you uh, that the sole purpose of this word of God uh, the sole purpose of, of me and you today is to get another soul saved. Yeah, it ain't yeah. to see how many we can, uh, it ain't to see how many programs we can right. get going over That's the house it. of God. It ain't to see how many of them we can get uh, to dress the bed. It ain't to see who can wear the best clothes right. or wear the best shoes. Right. It ain't to see who can make the most money over at the house yeah. of God. It's still uh, to see folks saved today. Looking back won't do nothing. Won't do nothing for the kingdom of heaven. Amen. I'm here to tell you. Oh, but the Bible says they rebuked him. It says that, uh, that, uh, that he should hold his, uh, hold his peace. And he, uh, but he cried, 
so much more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. You see, I believe what he told him right there. He said, y'all get out of my way. He said, I'm not looking back. He said, I'm not looking back. He said, I'm looking upon the first thing I've ever saw before. He said, I'm looking upon a power. He said, I'm looking up. And he said, and I know that my eye, I believe he knew in his heart. Uh, he said, I know I'm looking upon it, uh, but he just couldn't see it yet, right. Brother Michael. Uh, but you see, he believed uh, that if he would, if he would have hushed uh, and he, if he had hushed up when they told him, Brother Michael, nothing would have ever happened. If he had hushed up, if I, uh, oh, right above that time, I believe. Uh, right above that tower where you uh, go back and it's how Jesus speaks to the rich young man. Uh, there it says there. Uh, it says there. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful. Uh, for, and I'm reading out of verse number 23. He went back. Uh, it says there. And he heard this. He was very sorrowful. For he was very rich. Uh, but, but what God told him there, God said, sell my good. Right. He said, and give to a poor there. Right. Uh, but you see what he did? He was standing right there in front of Jesus. Yeah. And standing looking on the power of God, and he turned around and he looked back at what he had before, right. and it cost him everything. Amen. That's what it'll do to you. It'll cost you everything today. It'll cost you your job. Right. It'll cost you. I'll tell you what, I love my kids. Uh, they both out there in the car right now uh, uh, because they was pitching fits right before we got here and tired and sleepy. Uh, but I'm here to tell you right now, I love them kids enough, Brother Michael, uh, that I'm not going to look back on God uh, because if I do, ain't no telling where they might end up. Ain't no telling what homeless shelter they might end up being. Ain't no telling what kind of drunks they might end up being. Because uh, Daddy didn't look him enough uh, to keep his eyes on God and uh, to keep looking forward, uh, pressing on toward that mark. I'm loving him enough to take him to the house of God. I'm loving him enough to take him to revival. I'm loving him enough to have him down there in Miss Ronda's Sunday school room on Sunday morning uh, so they can hear the word of God uh, teach on their level. Uh, you see, I can't always get on their level. I can't always get to them. Uh, but boy, I know one right back there in the back of the room. Uh, at any given time. Now, uh, there's times at church. Uh, this morning, Bobo was up there pitching a the fit. And I couldn't get him to call. I went up there and asked her. I said, Can you please do something like boy? And uh, she walked up there in about four or five seconds. He was up there doing quick crying. Uh, what are you getting that preacher? Uh, don't look back. Uh, look to God. Uh, look to God's people. He's got what we need. He's got what we need. Oh, I'm here to tell you he got what we need, folks. Oh, but let me tell you that. Let me get on with it. He said that and we said rebuked him. He cried even more. So much more thy son of David have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded that, commanded that he be brought forward, you see. Sometimes Jesus wants to see us put forth a little bit of initiative. Amen. Sometimes, but see, God's not always just going to make it. He's already told us it's not always going to be roses. Right. It's not always going to be a blind Amen. house, a, a nice place to lay down. You see, sometimes we got to go through the storm. Right. Uh, sometimes we got to show God uh, that we love God enough uh, that we'll speak up on his behalf, uh, that we'll say his name. Uh, you see, I'm not going to be standing in Walmart somewhere uh, talking about God and somebody walk by me that I think it offends and hush my mouth. Ain't nobody gonna shut me up about my God and about what he's done for me. He brought my kids into this world there. Uh, both my kids born. Uh, there, I wonder how when I was born doctors telling us we don't know. Uh, we don't know what's going on. Uh, we got, they told us with Bobo they said we gotta get him out now. Uh, they was pretty much telling us that he was just about laying in there not doing nothing. And I'm talking about a power from God. Uh, we we kept looking to God. Oh, we didn't look back at them doctors. Oh, we didn't look back at what was going on. Oh, we kept pressing forward. Amen. Oh, boy, when we got to hear them coming there after it was over, we said, we don't know. Oh, we weren't trying to scare y'all. We don't know. We didn't look back. I raised my hand up. I said, Dr. Blake, I know. I said, we serve a God in heaven yeah. that's got the power over anything in this world. That's right, that's right. Oh, I believe in a God leaving the doctor's yeah. hand. I believe in doctors if they led by God. Yeah. If they ain't led by God, I don't want nothing to do with them. I don't yeah. want them working on me. I don't want them working on my family. Why is that preacher? Because they probably going to look back. Are they going to look back? Let me tell you this morning. But he asked him, he said, what? 
What will thou that I shall do unto thee? And if you ain't going to get nothing else out of this, I want you to listen. If you're lost here uh, this afternoon, Jesus is asking you this question. What will thou I shall do unto thee? And let me tell you something, folks. It's the most important decision that you'll ever make. Amen. Is that you get on your knees right now. And you can you turn to God and you tell him, oh, yeah, it's, it's not some repeat after me thing. It's not right. something that I can give you right here through this microphone on this radio. Uh, but it's one thing I can tell you is it's a personal thing between yes, you and God. Is. And the Bible says over there in Acts 4 and 12, say there's none other name given among heaven. Uh, okay. given, given, to me, uh, given to men under heaven. I messed that all up there. Uh, but he said, but thereby we must be saved. Amen. There's only one way. Uh, there's uh, he told Nicodemus over there, he said you must be born again uh, there Nicodemus was teaching in the right. synagogue he was a well respected man and he didn't even know but I'm here to tell you today God's give us an easy yes, way uh, to come to him you see Amen. folks he's give us the word of God I'm talking about King James version this yeah. morning I'm not talking about some uh, uh, newfangled junk I call on yeah. I'm telling you I'm just going to be to the point if you're not reading out the King James version Bible you better throw it in the garbage and get you a real one uh, that's got the real keys to heaven, uh, that's got the real God, uh, the only God. I'm talking about the God with the big G. I'm talking about the one that delivered the three Hebrew children uh, from the fiery furnace over there. Uh, you think they took time to look back? I know the Bible says they looked at King Nebuchadnezzar and said, we are not slow to answer them in this matter. Uh, they said, the God we serve uh, will deliver us and if he doesn't, it's still I'm going to glorify That's God. Oh, Paul said over there, for me to die is gain and for me to live is Christ. Oh, when you get like that, you can get something done for God today. Amen. I'm here to tell you, for me to die is gain and for me to live is Christ. Amen. Oh, boy, that goes way further than them few little words could yeah. ever tell. But I'm here to tell you, folks, you've never been saved and I'm just about done, bro. Jesse, you get ready. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, he said there, what wilt thou? And I shall do unto thee. And he said, and he said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And I always love, boy, I heard a preacher preach at one time, preach on just the word sight. And he got up and he said he was going to preach on the word sight there. I was listening to him on the radio. And for two and a half hours, he preached on the word sight. And I'm talking about for two and a half hours, he had my attention, brother Jesse. I, I doubted him when he got up and said he was going to preach on sight. I doubted him. But he said, over there, I won't never forget, he said, amazing grace. He said, uh, he said one of the best lines in that song is, I once was blind, uh, but now I can see. Amen. I once was blind. Let me ask you, would you like to receive your sight this morning? Amen. You see, if you've never been saved, you're walking around this world right now blinded. You're walking and you say, well, I can see just fine. I got 2020 vision. I'm talking about giving you some Jesus, Jesus vision this Amen. morning. I'm talking about giving you some godly vision. I'm talking about giving you a path. Uh, to, you see, there's a path to walk down that you've never seen. Uh, there's a path that you can't even see until you come uh, to the realization of Thank Jesus you. Christ in your life. And he'll give it to you. Amen. He'll give you a new pair of shoes to walk down it with you. He'll close you. He'll feed you. He'll love you like nothing else. Uh, you might spell love. Uh, you might say love. Uh, but you can't love until you're loved by the one uh, that first loved me. You see, I thought I, I thought I was a mighty big man as they sang in church this morning. Boy, they got them ladies on that song, bless my heart. I thought I was number one, Amen. brother Michael. I thought I'd done, boy, I used to be one of them, boy, I'd, uh, I'd buy the sweat of my brow and yeah. buy this and I that. Uh, but I come to find out that I can't even get out of the bed in the morning. Amen. I can't even walk unless he grabs my hand. Oh, right. Lord God, I might Amen. shout down here this evening. I can't even walk unless he gets hold of my hand and leave. Me. And if I try, uh, which I have, I begin to stumble. The Bible says, oh, that man walked in the light of day. He can see what he's doing. Right, huh? And he knew pretty good. But when he walks, try to walk in the dark. He stumbled while right. trying to walk in the dark. Brother Michael, I've tried to hold my own flashlight. Amen. I just can't do it. But the Bible says, there in heaven, there's a light that shines within it. It's brighter than anything else. I'm here to tell you, Amen. it's the brightest light. Uh, you'll ever follow. Amen. And you won't be able to see without it once you've been introduced to it. Amen. You won't be able to see without it. But he said here, he said, and Jesus said unto him, 
Receive thy sight by faith hath saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him. It didn't say nothing about he followed him for a little while and he turned around and looked back. It didn't say he followed him for a little while and this eye got to hurting a little bit and he got to stop it. It said he followed him. Let me tell you something over there like that where, where Jesus healed those ten now, I believe it was. And they had a leprosy there. The Bible says they got up and they all went one way, but there was one, Brother Michael. There was one that come back. Says, Lisa, what happened? He realized what they were. He realized they was all reasons. Amen. He realized, he said, hey, wait a minute. Hey, son, to this. Oh, we was laying there about dead in that, in that sin. We was laying there about dead in that, uh, in that sickness, sir. And this man come along and just spoke it into existence, Amen. sir. Oh, they more to that. He said, I'm going with him. Amen. I'm not going back to that pit. I'm here to tell you this morning, I'm not going back to that pit uh, that I was once laying in. Amen. I'm God doesn't reach now and pick me up. I and I'm going to keep going forward. I'm going to look on the hill of the author and finisher of our faith. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to run that race. Amen. He said, run the race with patience. Oh, but he said, run the race. Amen. 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 But it said here, and followed him glorifying God and the people. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. You see, there's a lot of people, and I'm done after this right here. I want to share this with you. There's a lot of people, Sister Honor, that know me before I know God. There's a lot of people know who I, boy, I was a rough character. I was, I tell you, I, I didn't, I, my, my first thought on people when I like them, I didn't, I didn't, when I met them, I didn't even like them. Uh, why is that? Uh, my motto was that way if I really didn't like them when I got to know them, I didn't waste no time liking them. That's how Amen. I felt about it. Uh, but you see, uh, there's a lot of people that seen me then that knows me now. Amen. And they realize, hey, there's something to this God. There's right. something to this God. This right here, you can't just, uh, you can't just change. You can't, I don't care what kind of psychiatrist you go to. I don't care who you lay down on the couch with your head on the pillow and your feet propped up and answer a thousand right. questions to them. They can't make a change like God Amen. makes in somebody. Uh, when God say, hey, well, I still like it when I see somebody. Amen. And it comes to realization, get saved to Jesus Christ. And you see them next week done cleaned up a little bit. Amen. And the next week at the house, God over here on a Saturday and they great participating there and the next week they helping somebody. I still like it when you see I got all over somebody and their face turned red and they just can't hold it no That's more. Right. I gotta jump up and testify a little yeah. bit. I gotta give God the glory in their life. I still like it when you see a fool that have been Christians for years and years yeah, and years and still got the same fire that they once had. That's right. God first saved them. What is it? And they didn't turn back. Amen. Amen. I love you this morning. That's all I got, brother. Just you come on. I tell you, I want to tell you this. If you're lost and you don't know him, get saved, my friend. Amen. You can look in the world we live in today and see that this world's not going to stand long. Right. Uh, this, uh, a, world, a world that's clashing like this one right here is, there's not long and it's not going to sustain itself Amen. no more. I tell you, won't you get sustained by the God? I tell you, there's life there. You say, I've, I've been asked before, you think there's life after this? I'm living life right now, Sister Ronda. My Bible tells me I'm never going to die. Amen. I'm never going to die, you see. Right. I might die of this flesh. I got to shed this old flesh. But Amen. the Bible says that I'm going to pick up in my eternal body. I'm talking about that day. I'm talking about that day when, uh, when, when, when we become more. Brother, Brother Jesse right. likes to talk about that. Uh, when immortality puts it on there. And you'd say, I'm going to pick that new bottle up, body up. Uh, like Sister Brenda did over there, Miss Rhonda, I believe. Uh, that she's running right now. Amen. I believe she can. Uh, oh, boy, she don't need them old lungs to breathe. That's old dirty iron no more. I believe over uh, I tell you. I still believe in a God that keeps his word. I believe there's a name over a door over in heaven that's got my name on it. Amen. And why is that? It's because I didn't look back. 
uh, because when I, when God called me uh, to be saved over at New Freedom Baptist Church on January 31st, one cold, one cold winter's morning, but I didn't realize how cold my life had already got, Brother Michael. But you see, because of the decision I made, if I'd have got halfway that altar and turned around and looked back, I wouldn't have never received Amen. it, Brother Michael. Get saved today, folks. Get saved. Get in the house of God. Get in His Word. If you don't, if you don't believe me, just try. I seen a church sign one time say, "If you don't like, hey, just try Jesus. If you don't like Him, devil will always take you back." Uh, but I'm here to tell you this morning, you won't, you won't look back if you'll just try the God. Amen. Amen. I love you. May God bless you. Our prayer. Amen. Amen. Bless him, Lord. Well, I tell you what, that's some, that's some good preaching. Amen. Praise God. I, I've heard some good preaching this morning. Praise God. Amen. I tell you, God knows how to line some things up. But, Amen. Well, Michael preached this morning out of First Timothy over there where the Bible says, Preach the word instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering doctrine. And, uh, Praise God, it was a, a Paul exhorting a young Timothy there that uh, Paul had told him I'd uh, fought a good fight and his departure was near and he was yeah. he was charging young Timothy to do the same. And uh, boy, I tell you, Brother Todd's message fell right in there. Praise God. We, there ain't no place to turn around Amen. nor look back. Praise God. Amen. Well, we got a good bit of reading to, uh, do this morning, but if you uh, uh, we'll be uh, coming out of the book of Acts, chapter 5. Well, we'll start more. reading about verse 17 and uh, uh, share a thought we had. And this is uh, right before this. Now, there's many, uh, many signs and wonders being done by the apostles. I mean, they the Bible said that uh, uh, old Peter uh, could walk by somebody in his shadow. Uh, Overshadowing, they'd be healed. I tell you, the, the Pharisees, no, oh boy, it, it was cutting them to the heart. Amen. Uh, uh, amen. But they didn't look back. <laughs> amen. They kept on uh, keeping amen. on. Uh, on. The Bible says the, the high priest rose up, and uh, all they that were with them, which is the select of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation, and uh, laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people uh, all the words of life. Amen. Amen. And when they heard that, uh, they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest came and uh, they that were with him and called the council together and all the sending of the children of Israel and sent uh, to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came and found them not in prison, they returned and told, saying, The prison truly was we shut with all safety and the keepers standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. Amen. Now, when the high priest and the uh, captain of uh, of the temple and the chief priests heard these things, they uh, doubted of them wherein to uh, this would grow. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men uh, whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Uh, then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should have uh, been stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. And the high priest asked, asked them, saying, Did we not strictly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem uh, with your doctrine and intend to bring these men, these men's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than man. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew, and uh, hang on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand uh, to be a prince and a savior 
uh, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witness of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, of whom God has given to them that obey him. Amen. And when they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. Then stood uh, there up one in the council of Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had a reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said to them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as uh, touching these men. Uh, for before these days rose up, rose up thin and boasting themselves to be somebody that, whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, whom uh, was slain. And all, as many as obeyed him, were uh, scattered and brought to naught. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and uh, drew away much per people. After him, he also perished and all men. All, even as many as obeyed him, were uh, dis, uh, dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let these them alone, for if this castle or this work be of man, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it. These heaply ye be found even to fight against God. And to him they agreed and uh, when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing yeah. that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple, in every house, they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we come to you once again. Lord God, Lord, we stand needing to touch me, Lord, pertaining to these scriptures. God, Lord, we pray, God, Lord, that you just uh, hide us behind the cross, God, Lord. Just allow us to make that cross and get on over in your hand. God, Lord, as a, a willing vessel, God, Lord, just use us, God, Lord, to, uh, that some soul, God, Lord, might uh, realize, God, Lord, that they need to submit to you, God, Lord, and, and God, humble themselves, confess their sins, and be saved, God, Lord, before it's everlasting too late. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Uh, amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, my friend, Lord, we, we was uh, studying a... Uh, hey man, we had a thought. Uh, praise God! It, it, it's about uh, uh, praise God being uh, obedient uh, uh, to the authority. Praise God! Uh, uh, we see here, uh, hey man, that uh, there he is the only reason. Uh, praise God! It's not uh, you're not to obey the authority to submit to the authorities, right. on, submit God. to the higher power. Uh, praise God when it goes contrary to God's word. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, that's what I'm going to have to say. Amen. Uh, I'd, I'd rather obey God and not man. Amen. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, over here, uh, amen. I had a good bit of reading. I'm going to try to get on with it, but the Bible uh, says over here, uh, amen, in First Peter uh, chapter 2, uh, amen, submit yourself to the ordinance of man uh, for the Lord's sake whether it be to the king uh, as supreme or unto governors as uh, unto uh, them that are sent by him uh, for the uh, punishment of evil doers and for the pray Praise of them that do well uh, for them. So it is the will of God Amen. that with all doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men Amen. as free and not using your liberty uh, for a cloak of uh, maliciousness. Uh, but as servants of God, honor all men, love the brotherhood, Amen. fear God, Honor the king. Uh, servants be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good in general, but also Amen. to the foreign. 
For this is thing worthy of a man for conscience towards God. Endure grief or wrongfully, or for what Amen. glory is it if, uh, when uh, ye buffeted for your fault, she shall uh, take it patiently, but if when ye uh, do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable to God. Praise God. Amen. You can't turn back. Pray. Amen. Praise Amen. God. I don't intend to turn back. Uh, uh, praise, praise God. God. My, my friend, uh, there is a thing of submitting, amen, uh, uh, to, uh, I'm talking about a chain of command, uh, uh, so to speak, and uh, uh, Almighty God is there on top. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, the Bible says uh, uh, over in Ephesians, uh, uh, praise God, uh, uh, children are to obey their parents, uh, amen, uh, for this is the will of God, uh, uh, praise amen. God, uh, amen, uh, it starts at the house, uh, yes, uh, amen, uh, uh, praise God, uh, uh, them little kids, uh, amen, they, they're going to repeat uh, exactly what they amen. hear and what they see, uh, oh. uh, amen, uh, uh, if you're there, uh, uh, praise God, uh, uh, in your house, uh, uh, talking bad uh, about oh. the uh, police, about, about the gun, you know what, your kids don't do the same. Amen. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, there is. Uh, uh, amen. I'm just preaching Bible. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, amen. It says, uh, children, uh, uh, be obedient to them. Uh, uh, they have rule over you. Uh, amen. Uh, it says, Father, uh, uh, provoke not your children uh, uh, unto anger. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, that's what you're doing. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, when you're telling them uh, uh, do not respect uh, authority. Uh, I guarantee you, uh, they're going to get angry. Uh, amen. amen. Uh, there's going to come a time uh, when you're going to have to uh, submit. Uh, amen. amen. Uh, uh, to the authority. Uh, yeah. uh, praise amen. God. Uh, amen. Uh, either, uh, I'm not, uh, when it uh, comes, you got to draw the line uh, uh, right. right there when it goes contrary uh, to the Word of God. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. Uh, but other than that, uh, uh, amen. Hey, we need the word of God. Uh, uh, praise God. Yes, we do. Uh, amen. Uh, it'll help every one of us. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, yes, sir, it will. Uh, uh, pray. Hey, there's too many uh, uh, kids these days. Uh, uh, praise God telling their parents, uh, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do this. Uh, uh, they need to. Uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, you spare the rod. Uh, uh, you spoil the child. Uh, uh, amen. Yes, sir. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, they need a old fashioned uh, uh, whooping of uh, uh, what they need. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, it do it be good for them. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, everybody say, uh, preacher, you got any Bible for it? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, oh, Samson, uh, uh, praise God. Uh, 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 he went down to town death. Uh, amen. I uh, uh, see no gal down there. Uh, uh, the Philistines. Uh, uh, amen. Life what he saw, uh, amen, uh, uh, told his mom and daddy, uh, uh, get it for me, uh, uh, boy, I like her, uh, uh, they told us, uh, hey son, uh, I ain't day one of, of our kindred, uh, right. uh, you know God uh, uh, told you you ain't supposed to uh, have nothing unclean, uh, hey, 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 uh, they be one of, uh, 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 of your people, you, you can get her, uh, hey, old Samson said, I want her, uh, get her for me, uh, yeah. uh, amen, uh, uh, we all know what happened. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, it just uh, uh, started off. Uh, 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 praise God. It uh, uh, cost him a lot of trouble. Uh, 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 praise God. It uh, uh, cost her family a lot of trouble. Right. Amen. Uh, uh, praise God. When it gets out of order, uh, uh, amen, it, it cost everybody uh, 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 trouble. Amen. Praise amen. God. Uh, uh, the Word of God is uh, uh, what we need. Uh, 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 praise God this day and time. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, yes, sir, it is. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, we need the word of God. Uh, praise amen. God. Amen. Uh, well, I, I tell you, there's too much of it going on. 
in the world today, uh, uh, praise God, with uh, no submitting uh, uh, to the authority, uh, right. uh, praise God. Uh, uh, all that do is let them uh, away with that. Uh, I'm just going ahead and say it, uh, uh, praise God. Uh, when that police tells you to get out of the car, and get on the ground. You can get out of the car, and get, get on the ground. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, praise God, because that, that's the will of God. That's the word of God. It says submit. Uh, uh, praise God uh, to the authority. Uh, uh, praise oh, God. Uh, uh, they should be. I tell you what. Uh, amen. Lost out in this world. Uh, 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 saying, uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna do that. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, you think about old name. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, the Bible says uh, uh, he's a uh, man of uh, valor. Uh, amen. amen. A man of war. A uh, uh, big stature. Uh, amen. But he's a leper. Uh, uh, he don't receive. Uh, uh, so to speak, uh, uh, praise God, uh, amen. I uh, uh, went over there to the man of God, Elijah, uh, uh, told him just uh, go down there in that Jordan dip seven times, uh, uh, and you'll come clean. Uh, yeah. uh, you got robbed, uh, amen. Uh, yeah. uh, we're going to do that. Uh, that's too good to do that. Uh, I ain't going to submit to that. Uh, amen. The man of God done told him uh, that's what you need to do. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, oh, he's there. Oh, oh, man, I ain't doing that. Uh, uh, praise God, but he's Finally, he, uh, the servant told him, said, if he had told you to do something uh, uh, simple, you'd have done it, wouldn't you? Hey, uh, yeah, he, well, uh, he went down seven times, amen. Right. In obedient to uh, the old God, amen, he come up uh, uh, clean, uh, uh, white as snow. Uh, oh, right, praise bro. God. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, amen. Uh, hey, uh, uh, we just got to uh, 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 stay in this word. Uh, uh, praise hey, God. Uh, uh, he'll go we. Uh, amen. Oh, the way uh, uh, they ain't no uh, place to look back. Uh, uh, Todd, I tell you what, uh, uh, praise God if he brings you uh, to it, he'll bring you through it. Uh, uh, praise Amen. God. Uh, I just think about old, old Shadrach, be shad to be the ghost uh, uh, talked about earlier. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, I like that song. Uh, oh, oh, prayer bells of heaven. Uh, oh, how sweetly they ring. Uh, uh, bring your message uh, unto Jesus the King. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, oh, Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, Amen. Uh, they done made a man-made law. Uh, Amen. Uh, uh, praise God. I said a man-made law. Amen. Not the law of God. Amen. Uh, well, I tell you what. Uh, that's what we need to do. Uh, uh, praise God. Just, uh, just get it set in our minds. Uh, amen. We're going to obey uh, uh, the word of God. Uh, uh, praise God. And he'll, he'll go with us. Uh, uh, Todd. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, they went all the way. Uh, uh, you talking about doing some submitting. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, fired up. Uh, Amen. Uh, uh, throw me in there. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, they know. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. If it did, uh, uh, they'd wake up with Jesus. Uh, uh, praise God on the other side. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, submitted themselves. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, hey, uh, I tell you what. Uh, uh, usually, uh, uh, praise God, there is. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, praise God. It, 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 you know. Uh, amen. It's a real thing. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, yes, sir, it is. Uh, amen. Well, I can't help but think about old Paul and Silas. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, amen. Uh, hey, they went over there to flip by. Uh, praise oh. God. Uh, uh, one name Lydia got saved. Uh, amen. There's another young lady got saved. Uh, amen. Uh, 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 praise God. Uh, boy, uh, that, that one uh, young lady, uh, uh, amen, she was, she was a, a sorcerer. Uh, amen, done all this hocus hey, pocus uh, uh, by the crystal ball and uh, uh, tell your fortune and all that and uh, a uh, bunch of hard works. Uh, hey, amen. Uh, uh, finally, uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, she got saved. Amen. Uh, 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 wasn't making the man no more money. Hey, they throw them in jail. Hey, uh, uh, beat them. I'm talking about throwing them in jail. Hey, uh, uh, what they do? Uh, oh. uh, they kept on being obedient to God. Yeah, hey, amen. I uh, uh, didn't look back. Uh, hey, uh, right. Praise God, singing and praising at midnight. Amen. 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 Praise God. God will take care of it. it. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir, he will. Uh, praise God. We need to be o obedient. Uh, 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 amen. 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 To the word of God. Uh, uh, amen. Yes, sir, we do. Uh, uh, praise God, my friends. There is a, 
uh, thing of submitting, uh, praise God, a uh, chain of command, and without it, uh, uh, praise God, uh, uh, there is no salvation. Uh, uh, praise God. We, we, you must humble yourself uh, under the mighty hand of God. Uh, praise God. And, uh, uh, amen. Get off our high horse, uh, uh, so to speak. Uh, you say, preacher, uh, uh, amen. Uh, I, I, I don't want to do that. My, my friend, if you, if you don't, uh, uh, amen, there, there's a, a burning hell praise waiting God. for you. Uh, praise God. Uh, uh, we need to uh, teach, teach, praise God, the, the Word of God. you got to humble yourself. Amen up under the, the mighty hand of God, praise God, and submit to his calling. Amen. Praise God. Uh, uh, amen. To, to humble yourself, to realize, uh, amen. Uh, amen, that uh, there's no other way, uh, praise God, than except in what uh, Jesus Christ has done on, on a hill called Calvary, Thank praise you, God. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. My friend, I'm afraid there, there's people dying every day and there's a rich man uh, lifting up their eyes in hell tormented. It, it's, a, it's a real thing. Uh, praise God. But God made a way. Uh, amen. We just humble, us, humble yourselves under his mighty hands. Submit to his will. Amen. Uh, ask him to forgive you of your sins. Uh, uh, amen. Come into your life. Amen. amen. He'll save you, yes, my friend. Uh, yes, sir, he will. Uh, praise God. We're, it's by his grace. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. We're saved by grace through faith, amen. not that of ourselves. It is the gift of God. Amen. amen. By that grace, that gift, you, uh, you, God, uh, amen, uh, uh, clothed himself in a, a robe of flesh yes, and he came did. down here and lived uh, 33 and a half amen. years of perfect amen. life. Amen. Uh, right. Praise God. Uh, uh, took upon us, uh, took upon himself our sins and uh, bore them on the cross, took our stripes. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, praise God for us. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, boy, what a gift. Uh, uh, praise God is his way or uh, no other way. Uh, uh, praise God as we uh, talked this morning uh, uh, there in Sunday school. Uh, uh, praise God. Very familiar scripture. Uh, uh, amen. It uh, uh, brought back to our remembrance uh, uh, there when uh, uh, Moses went up on the mount. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, boy, uh, uh, he, uh, he wanted to uh, uh, see God. Uh, uh, face to face, uh, uh, praise God. God told him, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, ain't no man ever going to uh, uh, be able to uh, let me face to face and live. Uh, uh, praise right. God, but I tell you what, uh, I'll hide you in the cleft of the rock. Uh, uh, praise God, when I uh, pass by, uh, uh, you can see my hinder part right. uh, there. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, 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 <laughs> what well, I was asking, uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, what is that all about? Uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, praise God, we uh, get together when we're going face to face. Uh, uh, amen. Well, obviously, uh, uh, butt heads. Uh, yeah. uh, amen. Uh, uh, for you know it, uh, you'd be telling God, I'd be telling God, hey, I got a better way. Uh, uh, that ain't the way we need to do it. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, there is no other way. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, we're to follow Him. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, his Word. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, it says submit, uh, amen, uh, uh, to your authority, praise amen. God, uh, yeah. uh, amen, uh, until they tell you, amen, he'll, he'll go with you uh, uh, all the way, uh, uh, amen, uh, uh, the Bible says uh, uh, he'll never leave you or never forsake you, uh, amen, uh, uh, praise God, uh, uh, amen, he'll go with you uh, through it, uh, uh, praise God, uh, uh, they ain't no place, amen. Uh, uh, turn around and look back. Uh, right. uh, amen. We just need to uh, keep on uh, keeping on. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, yes, sir, we do. Uh, uh, praise God. But it's His way. 
Amen. Oh, amen. And that, that, that's the only way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father except by him, my friend. Amen. Uh, praise God. Uh, uh, that's the way that, uh, amen, he made for us. Uh, uh, praise Lord. God. And that's, the Bible says, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord uh, shall be saved. Amen. Uh, amen. You've got to humble yourself. Amen. Submit yourself to him, uh, so to speak. Amen. Realize, uh, uh, you might say, preacher, uh, uh, I don't do much sin. I, I, I know. I, I, hey, you go looking back my past you whoo you know, I have mercy praise God well, he saved me amen he he changed me amen uh, praise God uh, amen you might say uh, oh I don't uh, I'm a pretty good fellow I don't do this I don't do that and I know some folks over there going to church and I don't want to be like uh, that uh, uh, amen uh, uh, praise God uh, uh, you just letting them stay in the way uh, you, you getting saved amen. amen you better realize that uh, all are sinners uh, uh, all uh, praise God and fell short and come uh, short of the glory of God we all need God amen, amen. we all uh, need uh, praise God Jesus amen, amen. And that is the only way. I'm talking about humbling yourself. Amen. Uh, uh, praise God under the mighty hand of God. Right, uh, amen. Asking him to uh, save you uh, from your sins and That's come right. into your life. Amen. And save you. Amen. Uh, a time's drawing near. Uh, praise amen. God, my friend. Uh, uh, amen. You don't know. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, you're not promised a, a second. Amen. Amen. Uh, I just want you to uh, get this point across. Amen. Praise God that you got to submit yourself. you got to humble yourself Amen. up under the mighty hand of God. That's it, brother. Amen. Amen. Praise God. There, there's many things that we got to go through in this life. Amen. Amen. And when it becomes, amen, when, when uh, you go to overthrowing the law, it becomes lawless. Amen. And uh, boy, I tell you, it's turmoil. Yes, it in the Word, we need to we need to pray for our authorities. Amen. This is the Word of God. Amen. It's That's the Word of God. Amen. I can back it up. Amen. We're supposed to pray for them. Amen. Yes. And I'm telling you, you, need to be reading the Bible. Amen. For the ones we, we vote for, we put in the office. Bible said, preacher, amen. You know, amen. It's in the Bible. Amen. Uh, praise God. And I'll preach it. Amen. amen. We need to put those ones in office uh, that are godly men and women. Amen. Uh, amen. And to stand on the word. Uh, amen. Uh, that they realize, uh, amen, they have a higher authority above. Uh, praise God. Boy, it goes on down the line. It's, uh, yes, sir, it does. Amen. Uh, praise God. But I'm going to uh, leave it right there. Amen. Brother Michael, I love you. Praise God. If you ain't saved, find yourself a place somewhere and, and realize, amen, you was born a sinner. Amen. There's none righteous, no, not one. You need Jesus. Amen. amen. You need the Lord. You need that higher authority, praise yes. God, in your life. Amen. 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 I appreciate Brother Jesse and Brother Todd preaching today. Amen. I needed that. And, boy, I tell you what, I love these two men. Amen. And, uh, boy, they just rear back and preach the book. But as Brother Jesse and Brother Todd said here this, this, morning, this evening here, if you're lost without God, the Bible says over there in John, Chapter 3, and verse 16, verse 17, Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should, amen, I got to butcher that all up, but Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, yeah. but have everlasting life, amen. So if you're out there, dear friend, today, boy, God loves you. Amen. And the next verse goes on down, said, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. Amen. God sent him here to die for your sins. And dear friend, out there today, if you're lost without God, you get saved before it's eternally too late. And if you're out there and you, you've been saved and 
you backslid on God, you need to get your heart right with God. Amen. Uh, but till uh, next time, may God bless you is, is our prayer. You have just heard the Crossroads Memorial Baptist Church broadcast with Pastor Brother Michael Head. The church is located on Vincent Mountain Road. Church services are 10 o'clock for Sunday school, 11 o'clock for morning worship, 6 o'clock Sunday evening service, and Wednesday at 7. Make sure to listen next time for the Crossroads Memorial Baptist Church broadcast with Pastor Brother Michael Head. Is that